Hey guys, today's tutorial is Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. If you'd like to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. Starting off with a fully concealed powdered base and contact lenses linked below with all of the materials used today, including these temporary tattoos, Tiffany's necklace, and a wig I chopped up on a whim. Let's go ahead and get some brows on this face. Using a dark chocolate body paint or liquid liner, I'm going to fill in my brows very thinly, highly arched and rounded with the starting points turned up to give her a signature angry brow look. For the shape of the face, I'm using a warm brown along the jaw to shorten and widen the face, then rounding out in a half circle shape from the nostrils below the cheeks and up next to the eyes in a harsher than usual line for dramatic effect. Carry this color next to the eyes and along the hairline connecting to the nose. Add a little below the bottom lip and blend under the chin. Accentuate under the nose in a V-shape and around the nostrils to detail. Add a rounded shape above the tip for a more buttoned look. Bring up the sides to thin the bridge and blend under the start of the brows. Darken under the apples of the cheeks and add a tiny half circle in black lightly to shadow for dimples. Add a line lightly from the dimples below towards the chin and detail the laugh lines as hers are very prominent. Add a parallel shadow line above the brows for a scowling effect and blend. For the blush, add a coral color in a very rounded shape to widen the cheeks more. Shadow under the nose and especially in the center line connecting to your top lip. For the eyes, lay down a bright pink all over your upper lid above your crease, fading as you get closer to the brows. Carrying below your eyes thickly and connect at the outer corners and blend. Bring into the inner corners above as well. Deepen the outer crease with a layer of darker magenta carrying onto the outer third of your lid. Blend below on the outer and inner portions. Layer on the outer and inner thirds of your upper lids, leaving the center open. In the center, add a lavender shimmer for contrast and add below. Blend dark purple farther out on the lid and blend into the outer crease. Add to the inner curve of the eye to round it. Carry below a third of the way. Add black to your water lines above and below. Using a liquid liner, do a heavy line along the entire upper lid, thin at the start and heavier towards the center towards the end. Blend black in a thick line along the lower lid. Add her signature black mole dot with the liner and use a darker brown shadow to detail points on the face even further. For lashes, use a wispier lash as hers aren't crazy dramatic and allow to fully dry. Add brown shadow into two curves below the start of the brows to add more of a scowl. Coat a thick layer of mascara on your top and bottom lashes. For the lips, coat all over with a magenta lipstick. I'm using a lip stain for the base to help it last. I added a layer of purple lipstick over the top to correct the color and blotted for the next step. Line the lips with a black shadow and blend it inwards. Blending is the most important part here and the blotting made sure that there wasn't too much product to smear and work with. Detail the corners to a point and sharply line the lips into two dramatic triangles at the top for her lip shape. Tap lipstick over to help the transition of colors. Using the shadow here instead of liner helps set the edge of the lip so that they last all day. 
And sometimes your cats go crazy upstairs and you have to make sure that they're alive. And you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I know that you have a huge selection to choose from here on YouTube, and I'm so very grateful each and every time you choose to watch one of my videos. I'll see you next time.